Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where all types of market researchers come for news, insights, and commentary about their field. Information bites that help them in their current place of work and also down the road. RBDR wants you to know today that mobile ethnography research doesn't need to cost you anything close to $20,000, which everybody seems to think is the minimum standard. Then we've got the story of the French newspaper that says it's going to no longer pay for polling. And finally, changes that social media must undergo that hopefully will take place in 2017. RBDR sponsored today and this week by Nuance, a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance has prepared tips for choosing a coding partner. It's a document for the uninitiated as well as those who would like to update themselves on the subject of coding. And we'll tell you later how to access that paper. Well, you and I have got to give Katherine Karastoff credit where credit is due, and she dropped the earliest Christmas present possible, January 2nd, on the research market. What am I talking about? She pointed out in a blog what no one else has explained about the changing cost of doing ethnographic research. The prevailing wisdom is that an ethnographic research project can't be done for less than $20,000, and many, she points out, cost well over $100,000. But Karastoff reported last week that mobile ethnography can be done in a practical, scalable manner by researchers if they use tools like Dscout, Indemo, Lumisay, Mindswarms, Over the Shoulder, and or Qualboard Mobile. These tools, Karstoff wrote, leverage the power of smartphones to turn research participants into self-ethnographers with text, photographs, video, and geolocation data, all part of the plan. Next, maybe it's the first shoe to drop on the polling industry after several years of exploding cigars which have blown up over and over again. The French newspaper Le Parisien announced that it will no longer commission its own polling. Instead, it's going to put money into producing better journalism, and by that I mean sending their reporters out to do a better job of getting a sense of the overall political mood among the populace. And finally for today, Robert Lang, CEO of social analytics provider Social Bakers, blogged for adweek.com about media in 2017, and he focused on social media, which he says is on everyone's lips. But he wrote that the data that is part of it is the biggest part of the equation in social media, bigger than you'll find in any other marketing channel. Understanding your data, he wrote, is mission critical to both improving your performance and delivering greater value from social channels. And he continued, companies have platform data in one tool, competitive data in another, advertising data in a third tool, customer service data in yet another one, and so on and so on and so on. So, Lang says the crucial task with social media in 2017 for marketers is breaking down and connecting to one hub all those different data to create one cohesive ecosystem of data. Only then, he said, will it be possible to tap into all the relevant data and move past time-consuming manual analysis. In a single ecosystem of data, he claims powerful algorithms will pull all data together analyze it on the fly to present companies with tailored recommendations for the next best action that they should take. Three to five tools, he said, become one. That's your Research Business Daily Report, which has been sponsored today and will be all this week by Nuance, a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Because you personally may not rely on it regularly, you may or may not have noticed that coding has gotten increasingly better in recent years, which should make the link to Nuance's tips for choosing a coding partner something in your wheelhouse if staying on top of change in research is a priority, and who can afford to have it not be the case? How many of you can allow your group to ignore changes in research? So click the link and get acquainted with or introduced to coding. We hope you have a great research day, and we'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow.